This is very important topic that is balancing redox reactions. How to balance redox reactions? We will be studying about two different techniques. The first technique is ion electron method and the second technique is oxidation number method. Both are actually similar to each other. One is shorter technique and one is little lengthier technique. Ion electron method is slightly lengthier technique but in the examination they specify that is use ion electron method to balance the following redox reaction or if they are not specifying it's your choice what which method to use okay so balancing using ion electron method we are going to see using particular example here in this type of balancing we use mainly electrons ions different ions okay carrying charges so we'll start with your problem number 8.8 .8 given in your example section that's a good question the question is to balance a chemical reaction using ion electron method. So let's see. Write the net ele ion electron method balancing. Okay, potassium dichromate reacts with sodium sulfite. Potassium dichromate is K2Cr2O7. It reacts with sodium sulfite Na2SO3. Sodium sulfate is SO Na2SO4. Okay, so this is potassium dichromate K2Cr2O7 and sodium sulfide, uh, sulfite. On reaction, they are telling that sulfate ion is produced, SO4 2 minus ion is produced and chromium ion is also produced. This is given in your question. This will be given, okay? Now what to do? How to balance? To balance, the procedure is, I'll tell you the techniques. The first procedure is, make sure that your all reactants are in ionic form. Ionic form, that is, Potassium dichromate is a compound, but we need to change into ion. So what are the possible ions from potassium dichromate? It is two potassium ions and dichromate ion, Cr2O7, two minus dichromate ion. We need. Now you check your product side. Is there potassium anywhere on the product side? No. So no need to think about this potassium. We only need to care about this dichromate ion. Okay. Then sodium sulfite, it can ionize to form. 2 sodium, 2 Na plus ions and SO3 2 minus, sulfite ions. Is there any sodium on the right hand side of the reaction? No. So, no need to care about sodium also. Only we need SO2, sorry, SO3 2 minus. So, this 2 only we need on your reactant side. And product side is already given to you. Now, we have to balance it. Okay. So, I am going to rewrite the equation on the left side only. Okay. Dichromate ion and sulfate, sulfite ion. Dichromate ion is Cr2O7, 2 minus, 2 minus, and sulfite ion is SO3, 2 minus. Your first aim to balance. For every reaction, when you are getting the same procedure you have to follow. The first step is to write like this in ionic form. Make sure that the elements on your left hand side and right hand side are. Same, that is chromium is there on the left side means chromium on the right side. Sulfur, here also sulfur, oxygen, oxygen. Make sure that this is correct. After that, what is the procedure is? You have to identify the oxidation and reduction in this process. Dichromate, to find oxidation or reduction, we can compare their oxidation number. Oxidation number of chromium here, we don't know, X. Two times, this you can do in your working column, okay? This X procedure, X and all. 2 into x to x, you have to note that this 2 minus is the overall charge on dichromate ion. So we can mark like this also, 2 minus. And interior, that is inside, oxygen always carry negative 2 as the charge that you should note. So 7 into minus 2 is minus 14, this equal to overall charge negative 2. This you should keep in mind. Do not put this minus 2 for oxygen, no, it is the overall charge minus 2. Oxygen interior, interior that is inside itself oxygen is having minus 2 that you should keep in mind. So 2x equal to 4, 12 so x equal to 6. So you are getting chromium exists in its plus 3 of sorry plus 6 oxidation state. So I am rubbing it and writing instead of x I can write y. Chromium is in plus 6 oxidation state. Okay then this chromium from its plus 6 oxidation state, it is changing into plus 3 oxidation state. So it is which process? It's reduction. So chromium is actually reduced. 
which is reduced. Chromium is reduced to uh, dichromate ion. I mean, dichromate ion is reduced to chromium 3 plus ion. Understand? Then this would be obviously oxidation, but just to make sure that you write in your answer sheet, you should show the oxidation state. It can be small as well. This 2 minus is for the overall compound. That you should always keep in mind. Okay. Then individually we don't know about sulfur. So X and oxygen interior is minus 2. So sulfur is X and 3 with minus 2 is minus 6. Overall charge is equal to minus 2. So X equal to plus 4 oxidation state. So your sulfur actually exists in its plus 4 oxidation state. Understand? So I am rubbing and writing plus 4 for the sulfur. So the sulfur actually exists in its plus 4 oxidation state. So what about this sulfur? We don't know. Place it as X. Minus 2 for this oxygen. Indeed, yeah. This minus 2 overall is for uh, SO4 2 minus ion. This is 2 minus. And in individually, inside also oxygen can be minus 2. So X minus 4 into 2 is 8 equal to minus 2. So X equal to plus 6 oxidation state. So the sulfur exists in its plus 6 oxidation state. So this you should always do. Check what is oxidation reduced. So from its plus 4 to plus 6, that is it is oxidation. So, so this is oxidation half. <laughs> now ion electron method is also known as half reaction method. Why? Because we are going to split this together one reaction into two separate reactions. The two separate reactions are first one you write. It is oxidation half reaction. Oxidation half reaction. This overall redox reaction I am going to split into two half reactions. One reaction for oxidation, one reaction for reduction. So this is oxidation half reaction. So what is that oxidation half reaction? Which is oxidized? Sulfite is getting oxidized to sulfate ion. Okay, ions respectively. So we write sulfite SO3 2 minus is changing to SO4 2 minus. We found out which is a reduced uh, reduction and which is oxidation reaction. Now after that you write oxidation half reaction. Now after writing oxidation half reaction, your first aim is to balance the number of atoms. First aim is to balance the number of atoms. The method of balancing the number of atoms is check whether the central element is balanced or not first. Sulfur, sulfur is balanced. Yes. What about oxygen? 3 oxygen, 4 oxygen here. You cannot do like that. It is not possible to balance using the normal techniques by putting 4 here, 3 here. No. The method of balancing like this type when oxygen is unbalanced is the procedure is to add H2O. Add H2O because H2O is actually oxygen is present. Instead of adding an oxygen atom, you add water. Water contains oxygen. It will take. So, uh, the method of adding oxygen is through water. So, whenever you feel to add oxygen, add water. Okay? How much water that you have to decide. How much H2O that you have to decide. So, where you have to add this side. Here 3 oxygen, here 4 oxygen. One more oxygen needed. That oxygen you have to add by adding H2O. <coughs> So in your reactant side, how many oxygen? 3 plus 1, 4. 4 over here also, balanced. But, on adding water, hydrogen, 2 hydrogen came here. But, no hydrogen on the right side. So what you have to do? We have to make hydrogen there also. The method of adding hydrogen is to add protons. So two methods you study. If oxygen you want to add, add water. If you want, water it means H2, okay. If you want to add hydrogen, add proton. This proton addition is important. H2O. So, how many proton I need to add? Two hydrogen atoms. So, two protons I am adding to H+. plus. Two protons I added. Now, atoms are balanced. But what about the charge? Charge balancing is to check the oxidation state of the central atom. Central atom here is the sulfur. Here sulfur is in its plus 4 state. 
Sulfur from its plus 4 oxidation state, change this into sulfur of plus 6 oxidation state. So we need to balance the charge of the central atom. The method of balancing the charge of the central atom is by adding electrons. So where you can add electron? Electron is negative charge. So if I add plus 6, I am adding 2 electrons on this side. So what actually happens? 2 electrons when I add. So it's plus 6 plus 2 electrons. Electron is negative charge. This is positive. 6 minus 2 actually. 6 minus 2. Because electron carry negative charge. So when I am adding 2 electrons, I am actually decreasing the positive charge. So plus 6 plus 2 electron is plus 4. So plus 4 this side, plus 4 this side also. The 3 methods we studied. Oxygen addition through water. Uh, hydrogen addition through proton. Uh, charge balancing through electron addition. On which side you want to add, okay? So, first reaction is complete. Oxidation half is fully balanced. Now, the same thing you have to do for reduction half also. Reduction half. Reduction half reaction. That is, what is your reduction reaction? Chromium from its dichromate Cr2O7. 2 minus dichromate ion is actually changing to which chromium Cr3 plus ion. We have to balance the central atom first. 2 chromium, that's 1 chromium. That balancing is your normal method. So place 2 here. So it becomes 2 chromium this side, normal balancing. After that, the procedure is oxygen. 7 oxygen, no oxygen. Oxygen addition through water. So how many water? 7 moles of water I am adding. So 7 H2O I am adding. So 7 oxygen is already present in the right side. But on adding water, proton we need to add. 7 into 2, 14 hydrogen atom is there on the right side. But left side nothing is there. So 14 proton I have to add. So hydrogen 14, hydrogen 14 atoms. Okay. Now Atom wise everything is complete, but ion is needed. Ion electron. So ions you have to balance. That is charges. So what is the charge on this chromium? We found out the charge on the chromium is plus 6. So here it is plus 6 charge and this chromium. What is the total charge? 1 chromium has plus 3 charge. 2 chromium has how much? Plus 12. So what is the charge on this uh, uh, dichromate total? One chromium, individual chromium atom has plus 6 charge. So two chromium atoms have plus 12 charge here. Whereas here two chromium, so 2 into 3 is 6 plus 6 charge is present. Now how to balance the charge? Here 12, here 6. How to make both the same? By adding electrons. By adding electron, where again should I add? Here if I add electron, its number will decrease. Okay, so how many electrons I am adding? So I have to add how many electrons? Plus 6 electrons. So 12 plus 12 plus 6 electron is plus 6. Because electron addition is negative charge addition is decreasing the oxidation state. Okay, so I can wrap this. No need to show that now. This is how we have to keep it. Now, two half reactions we have got. Now we need to combine both the half reactions into one single reaction. So how do we do that? We have to combine both this both reaction. This two electron I will write on the edge like this plus two electron. Okay. I have to combine both these reactions. How to combine? We have to make sure that the electron number in both the cases are the same. Here two electron, here six electron. So how to make this same? Multiply the whole reaction by 3. So it becomes 3 into 2, 6 electron. So that is the procedure. The procedure is to multiply the whole reaction. This first whole reaction, you multiply by 3. So I will write this reaction multiply by 3. This entire reaction you multiply by 3. Then it becomes like that. So after multiplying by 3, uh, what I am going to do is, I am going to write both the reactions now. Okay, shall I write here itself? I'll write here itself. 
3 into SO3 SO2 minus is 3 SO3 minus 3 into H2 is 3 H2O 3 into SO4 2 minus is 3 SO4 2 minus 3 into 2 is 6 proton 3 into 2 is 6 electron okay I have multiplied by 3 so that 6 electron here 6 electron here also after that add both the reactions back to your original you add the oxidation half and reduction half reactions together so in adding what happens the 6 electron on the LHS of the reaction and 6 electron on the RHS of the reaction cancel each other. So 6 electron cancel. So on cancelling the 6 electron, that means your answer is correct. After that proceed. LHS add 3 SO3 2 minus 3 SO3 2 minus plus 3 water plus 3 H2O plus dichromic ion 2O7 2 minus plus 14 protons gives 3 sulfate 2 minus SO4 2 minus 6 proton 2 chromium 3 plus plus 7H2O. You have added. Now we can see that 14 proton, 6 proton. So make it together <coughs> simple by eliminating, or you can take this proton, you take it to the other side. So 14 proton minus 6 proton, it becomes how much? 14 minus 6, you have to find, and after that you can replace. So you can write. 14H plus and 6H plus you can cancel and write together as 8H plus. Correct? Normal algebra, thing like that. Water. 3 water here, 7 water here. So overall, this 3 water you take it to other side. Like terms we are pairing. So 3 water goes to other side as subtraction. So 7 minus 3, 4 it will come. Plus 4H2O. This is their balanced chemical equation and if you want to know this is the balanced ion electron equation or you can say this is a balanced uh, redox reaction okay redox ionic equation ionic equation is this one and <coughs> sorry 8 proton indicating that it's an acidic medium this reaction takes place only in acidic medium okay and if some other reaction you are doing and you are getting up to this, then how to make it into basic medium is just add how many H plus is present, that many OH minus you add. 8 H plus O, you add 8 OH minus to both sides. And then you will be getting your basic medium. But this reaction do not do that because permanganometry has to take place in acidic medium. Okay, this is the reason. So this is your balanced chemical equation. This you can mark it. This is very, very, very important because in your grade 12, this is sure question in your board exam. Sure question means balancing the equation. Okay. And 11th standard also it's sure question only. So that much important it is. So this is you have to write the state that it is in acidic medium. So this is how you balance. So the reaction which we obtain is two no Cr2 O7 2 minus Cr2 O7 2 minus plus uh, which was the reaction? Yeah, Cr2 O7 2 minus plus 3 SO4 2 minus plus 8x plus gives 2 Cr3 plus plus 3 SO4 2 minus. So this is the result and this is your balanced chemical equation also. Okay, so I hope you understood. Yeah, this is it. We'll just verify. CR2O7 to minus 3SO3 to minus 8H plus is present. Now, oh, yeah, we forgot to remove this 3H2O, right? This 3H2O was actually the uh, eliminator. Before it was uh, 7 is 2 and 3H2O. This is 3H2O, we took it to the other side. So it became 4H2O. So this is the balanced chemical equation. Okay, forgot to rub that. That will be did. Okay, it's correct. So this is the balanced chemical equation regarding redox chemistry. I hope you understood. And 
In the next video, I will be uploading one more reaction where we will be doing ion electron method balancing part 2 and in that we will be uh, doing in basic medium also. So I hope you understood. Practice minimum 20-25 questions regarding this if you want to master the concept. Okay. Once you get practiced, then this concept will be very very simple. Okay. That much uh, easy it will be if you understand and practice. So thank you. Please like, share and subscribe. Okay.